I know what I'm like, I'm gonna figure. that person who just generally has that immaculately packed fridge full of nutritiously dense foods, they go to the gym six days a week, they're not even excited by the idea of sugar, they've never had a pimple on their skin since the age of 12. Why? When they say they're two minutes away, they're actually two minutes away. They just generally have all of their shit together. To be honest, I'm not really that person, like, I'm not trying to be that person anyway, but I don't actually know what's going to be in this fridge. Right, what have we got in here? I mean, I've got my burger sauce. My French roots would kill me because they're like, you're ruining the flavour. Let's not even call it cheese, but plastic cheese. And um, in my freezer, I've got some frozen lint Lindor, some Hagen Dazs. But you know, I also have a good mix in there. I've got some frozen bananas in there. I've got quite a few fruit and veg. So I'm doing all right. I feel like living a healthy lifestyle doesn't have to be this all or nothing approach. I want to have balance in life. So I do, I do try and eat mostly nutritiously dense foods, try and go to the gym like three or four days a week because it makes me feel good. But life is happening and I want to achieve things that are bigger than myself. I feel like this video is coming at a really good time for me and basically gave me the idea for this video. Um, you guys know I've set up two businesses in the past. One of them is my training guide, the other one is a consultancy business where I help other brands with their social media, but that's all kind of been centered around me being a content creator and kind of my experience as a content creator. Right now, I'm literally just setting up a tech startup and we're hiring a team and this thing is huge and it's, it's literally got nothing to do with me as a content creator, so it's scary. And I find myself having less and less time for myself. So this is for anyone who is kind of in the same position, whether it's with school, whether it's with your job, whether it's just with like parenting or whatever it might be. These are some of the things that help me stay healthy, both mentally and physically, when I just feel like time is slipping through my fingers. thing I wanted to talk about was making healthy choices easy to make. I've spoken about this before, but this one is how we think about what it means to be healthy and what it takes to make those choices. When it comes to that moment of deciding whether you're going to make a healthy choice or an unhealthy choice, usually the unhealthy option wins because it requires less time. Like if we think about going to the gym, for me to go to the gym, have a workout, come back, shower, it's taken an hour and a half out of my day. Versus not going to the gym, which takes zero minutes. So if I am pressed for time, what am I gonna do? I'm probably just not gonna work out. But if we make the healthy option something that's less intimidating and more accessible, like a 15 minute jog, then now I'm making the decision between not doing exercise and doing just 15 minutes of exercise. And it doesn't seem like that much of an extreme. And if it's the difference between me doing it and not doing it, then is definitely gonna make a difference. Because a 15 minute jog, I used to be like, what's the point? Like, there's no point, but being healthy is the sum of all of the little choices we make. Also, if we look at it in terms of food, it's more likely that we pick a healthy option if we have more healthy options available to us. So, if I look into my cupboard right now and I've got two choices, one is a banana, one is a packet of crisps. And between two choices of the banana and the packet of crisps, there's a higher chance, if it's just one on one, that I'll pick the unhealthy option. But now if I have lots of healthy options as snacks, then there's more chance of me being like, oh actually, I do want that instead. because I feel like sometimes I might genuinely just want a packet of crisps. I just have more healthy options so that I can really listen to my body and see what it's asking me for. The next one is about active multitasking. Now, I'm not a huge fan of multitasking in general, especially if the two activities require brain power. I just end up doing a job at both. But at 
active multitasking is a little bit different if one of the activities doesn't require that much brain power. And a really good example of that is taking a phone call whilst going for a walk. I don't need to think about walking, I can walk with my eyes closed. If you guys like to read, then listening to an audible book can be really great whilst you're going for a walk. Even if you guys use TV as a way to unwind, like I have personally just got into Peaky Blinders, mainly because everyone was talking about it and I'm not a sheep, but I feel like this time I was definitely a sheep. So now I'm watching Peaky Blinders and a nice way to stay active is just to spend 10 minutes of your TV show doing a little bit of stretching. I have a goal for myself that is to get into the box splits. Just by watching TV and doing some stretches, it can really like help and also it makes me not think about the pain. It doesn't have to be painful by the way, stretching can be really like nice and enjoyable. It's just for the box splits. It's so painful. And what I do want to mention here is don't write off something that seems small. Just because it's not a sweaty hour-long workout, every small moment, every little action, it still makes you healthier. <sighs> okay, I don't actually know how to explain this, but basically, I filmed this whole video and then the file that I filmed in here got corrupted, which just brings me back like stressful dissertation vibes because that's exactly what happened in my dissertation. My whole file corrupted and I had to start again. And now when I'm starting again, it's the weirdest continuity because obviously my voice is gone and um, I've had my eyelashes done. I went to an event last night and the music was so unnecessarily loud. We were just screaming at each other and yeah, I lost my voice, so I will just continue on with this video as if nothing happened, you know? So uh, this one is about training smart. I honestly feel like you can get an amazing workout in just 15 sweet minutes. And I get loads of comments being like, you know what, I would do that hip workout, but I already showered and I don't want to shower again. Whenever it is you're going to shower, you just pop a little 15 minute workout in before, and just shower as if you were going to do your normal day. For me, it saves me a lot of time and I know that I can get a great HIIT workout in in 15 minutes. And it's super easy. Just go on YouTube, click on a follow along HIIT workout and do the workout. You don't even have to think about it. And then you can add in a three, four minute warm up or cool down, however you like, and then just pop straight into the shower, you know, just have a little wash. If you don't want to do that, then you can just pick five exercises and do it three times, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and you've got yourself a great hit workout. <clears throat> if you have 45 minutes, then that's genuinely enough time to get a great full body workout with resistance training. I feel like isolation exercises are the luxury of fitness. Like, they're what we do to get a very specific goal, but it's not necessarily the most natural way that our bodies move. Our bodies move in a multi-joint way. And luckily for us, those exercises, compound exercises, are the ones which burn more energy per rep. And they contribute also to building muscle. So that means that if you do get to do like a 45 minute session two to three times a week, then you can resistance train all of your muscles multiple times. And that's personally what I like to do. I love, I love a good squat to press, you know? It's just squats, deadlifts, squat to press, pull-ups. Those are the kind of exercises that I really like to do and prioritize when time is, time is of the essence. Now I wanna be super honest with you guys because if your goal is to be an athletic badass or to build loads and loads of muscle, those things require you to invest more time and you're gonna to need to start sacrificing the things that are making you busy in order to create time to achieve those goals. That was a stage where I was like, I want it all. I wanted the career, I wanted to be the most athletically capable, I wanted the perfect physique. And it was really important for me to remember that there were people out there that were solely dedicated to each of those things individually and they had the advantage. So being aware of that and being realistic with myself that I can't achieve all of those things perfectly and become a master at them because they each individually need time was really good for me because it relieved a lot of the pressure from expecting too much, way too much of myself. I think that's why the Marine video meant so much to me because it was the first time in a long time where I actually 
created time for myself for a physical goal and I got it and it was so rewarding because the last couple of years I've really been focusing on building the skill set and my business skills to actually set up this business that I'm doing right now and I know that I only have a certain amount of energy and that was really good for my mental health to just finally accept that. I'm going to end it here. I'm considering putting subtitles because I'm not sure how understandable I am. Like, I don't even know if I understand myself. The next thing literally saves me and Mario easily one to two hours a week and it is online grocery shopping. It might take a little bit of time the first time you ever do it to kind of pick your items, etc. But after that, because every store, at least in the UK, saves your order, you can just streamline the whole process and be like, I want that entire basket. Or just a little bit of that basket. It just saves so much time because I'm the kind of person who goes into a grocery store and I'm like, I don't need that much. Three things. I come out with 50 more items. I get distracted. Packaging is nice. I like to touch the food, I see the food, and I can't help myself. So yeah, doing it online means it just streamlines the whole thing, it saves us so much more time. Even the travelling time, even the queuing time. Whilst we're talking about food, another thing that I found really helpful was to appreciate fast food. And I mean that because I don't feel like quick food necessarily means unhealthy food. When I'm super, super busy, I usually grab something on the go or get like a ready meal or order some takeaway at least once a day because it saves me so much prep time, cooking time and clearing up time. And that's really weird for me because when I grew up my parents literally never did any kind of takeaway, we never had any ready meals, everything was cooked from scratch. So I just grew up with that perception that quick food meant that it was unhealthy and there's kind of like more of a grey line. I feel like if you educate yourself a little bit about food in terms of macros and micronutrients and calories then it can really help you make better decisions when it comes to grabbing some food on the go or eating out. Things like knowing that grilled foods tend to be less high in saturated fat than fried foods. The fact that you don't have to eat the entire portion if you feel full and satisfied, you can save it for later. And also not falling into the trap of going for a meal deal. Honestly, every time I get a Subway, every time, they're like, you know it's cheaper if you get a cookie. I just roll with it. I take the cookie and then I give it to someone who looks like they need a cookie. Honestly, just being a little bit educated around food means that you can grab food anywhere and still feel satisfied, happy and full. The next one is about being self-aware and knowing your signs. So when we feel really stressed and the to-do list just keeps getting longer and longer, it's really mentally draining and it can feel like everything is against us and it's kind of, it's really easy to get into a negative headspace. Like try and remember the last time where you got into a negative headspace and what were you doing at the start. That is your sign. So my sign, my big sign is every time I go into a negative mindset, the first thing I do is I just go silent and I just internalize everything. Like I can't even express how I feel. I just don't want to talk to anyone. My mind is going wild, like I'm wildly overthinking and my body just doesn't move, like I'm just still. And that's one of my biggest signs, so try and learn your sign and the moment you notice it, try and snap out of it. Like do something, watch like a funny skit on YouTube, whatever it is that helps you get out of that mindset. I'm really lucky also I have Mario, so sometimes he knows my sign and he'll help me snap out of it, he'll throw a pillow over my head. Whatever it is, it feels like the last thing you want to do, but it's so, so important to do because what I need to do is actually just talk about how I feel. And if I'm internalizing everything, I never talk about how I feel. I guess the last thing I wanted to talk about was don't feel bad saying no to things. I always used to feel bad saying no to things. In the UK, I feel like we're all born with a guilty conscience. I just end up saying, I'm sorry, even if it's not my fault, just out of habit. And I used to be the same when it came to doing favors for people. So if someone asked me to do something, I'd be like, absolutely yes. And then when it came round to it, I was like, why did I say that? It was so minor, like that person doesn't even really care about that job that needs to be done or that favour and now that's eating into my own time 
and I feel like it's really important to respect our own time and it's okay to say no to things. I mean, you don't have to be like really standoffish, like, no, no. Protecting your time is, is important. So if that's you, don't let anyone make you feel bad about saying no to things just because it's important that you feel happy as well. So I'll wrap it up there. Those are the things that really help me get the most out of my time when I'm feeling super busy. I'm literally heading off to Thailand tomorrow. I'll be coaching some of you for a week. Um, my last escape with New Horizon is in Maldives. So um, if you guys wanted to train with me, spend a whole week with me, I'm literally all yours for that time. And, um, and then I'll be going to LA at the end of September. So. I love you guys, I'll see some of you in person very soon, and if not, then I'll see you in another YouTube video again very soon. Love ya, bye!